Hey everybody, Alan here again with STG Moto and SportBikeTrackGear.com. We're getting all our off-road stuff going here, getting geared up for spring. Today, we're actually doing a video comparison of the off-road helmets offered that are all under that $100 mark and below. Really nice entry-level price point. You know, you're just riding every once in a while, you're new to off-road, you're not sure you're going to like it, you're growing and you're going to be moving out of a helmet pretty quickly, you still want a helmet that's going to be safe for you, look decent for you. Or, you know, you just only ride a couple times a year. You don't put a ton of miles on your helmet. You're just looking for something to get you out on the trail. We got something here that's going to work for you. First up in the list today, it's actually the Cyber UX23 off-road helmet. Super affordable. This thing comes in at $79.95. It is a DOT approved helmet. Uses an ABS shell construction on it. Keeps it fairly light, nice and strong for you. Some other cool options. Does have a fully adjustable visor on it. This little screw right here opens up. Slide it up and down for personal preference. Decent ventilation through the chin bar here. Nice ventilation with a mesh guard in it to stop any debris from coming through. Also have some small ram air vents in the top of the liner itself. And that does mate to a few rear exhaust vents. Two at the top, two at the bottom. Still get a nice fully washable, fully removable liner and cheek pads inside of it. Has a really nice soft fabric to it as well. Feels nice on the skin inside the helmet. Next up, it's the HJC CS MX2 off-road helmet. A lot of really cool graphics with this helmet. And this helmet also comes in at that same $79.95 price point. Also fully DOT approved. This one actually uses a polycarbonate shell design. Again though, nice ventilation, a little more than the cyber head. Two more side vents on the chin bar, nice large chin vent. A little more ram air ventilation up through the top of the liner itself. Large ram air vent right in the top center of the helmet. Again, that mates to just two rear exhaust vents at the top rear of the helmet here. He'll pull that air out the back for you. Got that same nice washable, removable liner and cheek pads in it. Also replaceable if you need to change a different size, you just want to have a spare line or anything like that, it's all available at our website. Next up though, it's actually the Bell SX-1 off-road helmet here. This one comes in just a little bit more than the last two were. This one's $99.95. So a fully DOT approved helmet. This one uses a polycarbonate shell design. Doesn't have quite as much ventilation as the HJC or even the Cyber did. Still a really nice helmet though. Really large chin vent with the metal screen in it, stopping debris from coming through. Fully washable, fully removable liner on this. All comes out with just a couple snaps, really easy, real quick. Lots of cool graphics offered by Bell. Their graphics all look really good. The catalog and website definitely don't always do them justice. Their colors really pop once you have them in person. Next up though, it's the G-Max. GM 76X helmet. This helmet comes in at $99.95, fully DOT approved. Tons of great, great colors and graphics with this helmet. Real nice ventilation to it. Replaceable chin bar, just one little screw that comes right off. You can replace it if it does happen to get broken from a rock flying back or just in the event of a crash. Really nice ventilation for this price point. You get a ton of ram air through the top of the liner itself. Two ram air, two ram air ducts right at the base of the shell. And then two more large intake ducts just above the visor here. That mates to a ton of rear vents, two at the very rear top, two just under that, and a bunch all the way at the base of the neck. You do have your normal fully removable, fully washable liner and cheek pads, nice soft material, feels good against the skin. A lot of this level of helmet, the guys aren't necessarily always riding a dirt bike with them. Uh, so sometimes they're using them in a side-by-side -side or ATVs. Uh, and a lot of times you guys want to use some communications to be able to talk to your passenger a little back and forth. Even riding from bike to bike on dirt bikes as well, you can use them. G-Max has thought of that. They actually have a small recess behind the cheek pads to give you a little extra space for your speakers in there so it doesn't push in and push on your ears any more than they already have to. Next up is actually another G-Max. This one's actually the GM 46.2. This one comes in at just $89.95. Still fully DOT approved. This one uses a poly alloy shell design on it. Same thing, a lot of cool different tool graphics and colors. These things really stand out. Nice ventilation up through the chin bar, large ventilation through the main chin vent. 
For $89.95, tons of ventilation on this helmet, actually. Three small RAM air ports right at the base of the shell, with three more at the base of the visor up top. Those made to four vents out the back, two at the top, two at the bottom. And actually, there's a couple more in the base of the liner at the back of the neck as well. Fully removable, fully washable liner on it. Again, this also does have the space behind the cheek pads. Four speakers, if you are running a communication system, gives you that little bit more space back there. Really nice, really affordable helmet from G-Max. Then last up in our line, it's actually the AFX FX17. This helmet's going to range in price from $94.99 up to $99.99. It is a fully DOT and ECE approved helmet. This one uses a poly alloy shell construction on it. Some other cool features, like I said, she had quite a bit of ventilation on this helmet. Two large side chin, vent, chin bar vents, large main center chin, chin vent in the center piece. Nice ram air through the actual upper portion of the liner itself. Two more at the base of the shell. It has large exhaust ports, one main top in the top center of the helmet, two at the upper rear, two at the lower rear. Again, fully removable, fully washable liner, all that stuff's replaceable as well. And AFX has also thought of if you are going to be using a communication system as well. This one also does have a uh, small recess behind the cheek pads for your speakers. All in all, though, these are really nice, really entry-level price point, all under $100. Really easy way, to, an affordable way to get you out on the trail, get you out riding for the weekend. If there is any technical features that you're wondering about these that we weren't able to cover in this video, if you head over to our website, sportbiketrackgear.com, we do have all that listed out and all the different graphics they come in. My personal picks in these, I'd probably actually go with the HJC, their CSMX2 helmet. I've been around HJC helmets for years. They all fit really well. They perform well. They last for you. And actually, my second pick would be the AFX, their FX17 helmet here. Still get DOT and ECE rating on it. Tons of ventilation. But again, they're all really nice helmets throughout the line for the money. You can't beat them. If you have any other questions about them, feel free to give me a call. Phone number is 888-784-4327. Just dial 2 for off-road. Or you can shoot me an email. Email address is offroad at stg-moto.com. It'll come right to me. I can get all your questions answered. But again, these are all... $100 and under price point off-road helmets offered here at STG. Head over to sportbiketrackgear.com and check them out.